If people are unreasonable, logical, and self-centered, have the courage to love them anyway. And if you succeed, you're going to win false friends and true enemies. Have the courage to succeed anyway. And honesty and frankness and forgiveness are going to make you vulnerable. Have the courage to be honest and frank and forgiving anyway. The good you do today, you're going to be told, will be forgotten tomorrow. Have the courage to do good anyway. The biggest people, I love this, the biggest people with the biggest ideas can be shot down by the smallest people with the smallest mind. Have the courage to think big anyway. What you spend years building can be destroyed overnight. You know, that's the vulnerability of life. But have the courage to build anyway. Give the world the best you have, and you'll get kicked in the teeth. How often have you heard that? Well, have the courage to get kicked in the teeth anyway. In essence, have the courage to be courageous. But you know, I always think about it when I'm with a group like this, that all of us have known sadness. Everybody in this audience has known what it means to be sad, to be disappointed, to be made to suffer pain, to know cruelty. But we've also known joy. Some of us have known ecstasy. Some of us have even known rapture. And that's incredible. But you know, also, if you switch that over, many of us have made people sad, intentionally, unintentionally. Many of us have given pain to others, intentionally, unintentionally. Many of us have even been cruel, intentionally, unintentionally. It's only if you can forgive what is done to you that you can expect then that others will forgive you. And because we all are vulnerable, and we all are those things, we have to learn to let go and to forgive because you know what happens when we don't? It's we are the ones that are punished. We carry the anger, the devastation around with us all of our lives and it keeps us from growing.